It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. There's a cult leader who lives in California. He claims to be the reincarnation of the Buddha. And he is described as being a cult leader for very simple reasons. First of all, he calls himself Buddha Maitreya. He claims to be the reincarnation of the Buddha. He promotes new age concepts and ideas which are not supported by fact and largely used to promote his own profit-making schemes. His real name is Ronald Spencer. Ronald Lloyd Spencer. He used to be a trucker until he realised that you could make more money lying to people about your abilities and your wisdom. Over time he learnt to manipulate people correctly and he set up a number of programmes and schemes to control people. Brainwashing and then tiding their money away. He claims to support the exiled Tibetans in India and elsewhere when in actual fact the vast majority of the funds go directly into his organisation's bank account of which he is the primary person to remove funds from it supposedly for correct means but in actual fact he can do whatever he wishes with the funds of the organisation the followers are brainwashed they basically give their money after that point towards the greater cause and of course why would they question because after all he is the Buddha except of course he isn't the Buddha he's simply a guy making money off the idea of Buddha Buddhism exiled Tibetans and a variety of new age beliefs he promotes the idea of the lost continent of Atlantis the Archangels and yet claims that he is not New Age, when clearly and evidently he is. He simply uses Buddhist ideas to try and say he is not New Age. And even if he is New Age, that's not a crime. What is a crime is the abuse, sometimes sexual, within the group. The fact that certain people who have carried out certain crimes, including theft, have been, well, hidden by the group. That he himself has covered up theft and that donations are used for his own personal devices. He has created a number of different tools for meditation and spirituality, various wire and metal structures which are meant to be good at harnessing and manipulating the energy of the body, which can help towards enlightenment and proper flow of energy throughout the body. Except, of course, like with all New Age sciences, they are bullshit. We're talking about pseudoscience based upon his ideas of spirituality and the ideas of others which he has taken to be his own. He sells his equipment, classes, talks and so on and so forth around the world, most notably in the United States but also in Britain and elsewhere. He makes considerable amounts of money from his expertise. He lives on donations he has no actual income for himself. He simply speaks as a guru, supposedly with a greater truth, and acts like he is worthy of it because he must be the reincarnation of the Buddha. He provides no proof, no evidence for any of his claims. He lives in a commune which is over in California, a compound with a variety of structures which are meant to harness spiritual energy. In my opinion, this group is a potentially dangerous cult organisation. At the very least, it should be watched, it should be dealt with and indeed investigated more than it has been.